If you want to buy Hostinger hosting with free domain, then this video is for you. In this video, I will purchase the Hostinger hosting with free domain live in front of you. By the end of this video, you will have Hostinger hosting, a free domain and WordPress all set up. So let's get started. You can use my special link and coupon code to get up to 75% discount on Hostinger. And also, I will create a free website for you using WordPress, paid themes and plugins with license keys and lifetime subscription. These themes and plugins cost around 500 USD. I am a professional web designer, so I have purchased the agency plans of these themes and plugins. So after the purchase of your web hosting using my link, please send me the invoice on this email for confirmation and my team will start working on your free website. So click on the link in the video description to get started. So click on this link and it will take you to Hostinger. Now click on claim deal. And here you will see three different pricing options. The first one is premium, then we have business and then we have cloud. I will definitely recommend you to go with the business because here you will get increased performance, NVMe instead of the SSD which is 10 times faster as compared to the SSD and also you get a free CDN means that all of your website data will be stored across the globe on different servers which means faster loading time. So your website will load much faster with the help of CDN. But if your budget is low, then premium plan is also a great choice. My advice is that don't overthink while choosing a package because you can always downgrade or upgrade very easily. So in this video, I'm going to choose the business plan. So I will click on choose plan. Now we need to choose a time period for our web hosting. If you have a budget and you know that you are going to use your website for multiple years, I would recommend you to go for the 48 months plan. Choosing the longer plan help reduce web hosting cost as the discount is bigger. With 48 months plan, you will get 2 months free and also your web hosting will be renewed at 8.99 instead of 11.99 if you go with the 12 months plan. If you have a low budget, then you can also go for 12 months or 24 months plan. But I will not recommend you to go for the 1 month plan because firstly, it is very expensive. It will cost you around 13.99 per month. Secondly, no free domain is available in this plan and third, you have to pay 4.99 setup cost as I already have a hosting or hosting. So just for this video, I'm going to select the 12 months plan and purchase it. So now we need to create our hosting account. So I will enter my email and password, but you can also sign up with the help of your Google account. After that, we need to select the payment method and pay for our web hosting. But before making the payment, scroll down and click on have a coupon code, enter my coupon code and click on apply to get some extra discount. After that, we can enter these details, but we will do it later on. Now we will choose our payment method. I will go with the credit card. You can choose any other payment method as well. So now we will enter our payment details. And after that, we are going to click on submit square payment. So we have successfully purchased our web hosting and now we are going to install WordPress on it. So let's see how we can do it. So at first we are going to click on skip from here and now we will select I will create my website and then click on next. After that we are going to select WordPress from here and then again click on next. Now we need to enter our WordPress credentials and these credentials will be used later on to log into our WordPress website. So at first we need to enter our email address. As you can see that it is already added. So after that we need to add our password for our WordPress website. And once you are done with administrator email and password, just click on next from here. Now we are going to select create blank site from here. And now we need to select our domain name that we are going to use with our web hosting. So we are going to search for our domain name. So I need uh, something like atharweb.com. So I'm going to search for it. And here it will show you whether the domain is available or not. As you can see that my domain is available 
and free for the first year so i am going to select my domain and then click on next from here now we need to add our primary information and this information is necessary for registering a domain so at first we will select our country now we need to add these details and after that we are going to click on finish registration and as you can see that our domain is now registering now we are going to select our location from where our target audience is so for this i am going to select the united states but you can choose any location that you want after that we are going to click on next and as you can see that wordpress is now installing on our web hosting and domain so as you can see that wordpress is now installed on our web hosting and domain that's it for today thanks for watching please like and subscribe